Hey guys, Henry Man 33 here, and today, like I said at the end of Wait Till Wednesday on Wednesday, today's video is my top 31 NHL teams from most hated to favorites. So, of course, it's a countdown. So, like I said, it's countdown countdown of all 31 NHL teams from most hated to favorite. So, let's go number 31, the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, th this was before I started watching hockey. There was a big rivalry between uh, my favorite hockey team and the Philadelphia Flyers, which was in 2004. And it still kind of carries on today. Uh, not as intense as it was in 2004 because, well, the, the rules and you know how the NHL works now, even, even 16 years later, is different than the way it was in 2004. And when I started watching hockey in 2007, I've been watching hockey for 13 years now. Uh, even back 13 years ago when I first started watching hockey, the rules and the way the game was played is different to the way it is now. But anyway, number 31, my most hated NHL team, the Philadelphia Flyers. Number 30, the Boston Bruins. Uh, kind of the same thing with the Flyers. The Bruins are, are known as being a dirty team bunch of bullies, a bunch of assholes, you know, just, and the thing with Boston is like, yeah, they, they, they're like, oh, we can hit this player from behind, and, and do this really dirty play, and the referee calls a penalty, and both the players and the fans are like, what, you know, what, why is that a penalty? I mean, if, let's say, let's say the Bruins are playing against the Penguins, say Sidney Crosby hits Brad Marchant from behind. Bruins fans and players will be like, what, that's a fucking penalty, that should be a penalty, just send him off the game, but if Brad Marchand hits Cindy Crosby from behind, that should not be a penalty. Anyway, speaking of the Penguins, number 29, the Pittsburgh Penguins. I really don't like the Penguins, I hate them. Uh, number 28, the Montreal Canadiens, I hate them too. Number 27, the Los Angeles Kings. Now the thing with me and the Kings is, I just... I, I can't come up with an explanation as to why I don't like the LA Kings. I just don't like them. You know, I honestly can't think of a, a single solitary reason as to why I hate the LA Kings, but I just do. Number 26, the Washington Capitals. The Capitals for me are like, it's, it's not that I hate them, I just don't like them. Number 25, the Colorado Avalanche. I don't like them at all. Uh course there are some players that play for the Colorado Avalanche that I have great respect for you know Patrick Waugh, uh, Joe Sackick, um, Gabriel Landeskog who is the I believe he's the current captain of the Colorado Avalanche he used to be the captain of my hometown Kitchener Rangers in the Ontario Hockey League because I was born in Kitchener Ontario raised my whole life here in Newfoundland but yeah number 24 the Chicago Blackhawks my favorite player on the Blackhawks would be Patrick Kane, but he's pretty much the only player I like. Not a big fan of the Blackhawks. For me, it's mostly the fans that I don't like for the Blackhawks, as opposed to the team itself. Number 23, the Minnesota Wild. Uh, I don't Personally, I don't really care each that much about the, the Wild. I don't ha particularly hate them, but I don't like them. Number 22, the Edmonton Oilers. Again, the same thing with Colorado. There are players throughout the history of the Edmonton Oilers that I have great respect for. Obviously, Wayne Gretzky, Grant Fuhrer, Marc Messier. Uh, I have respect for those guys. Um, but as a team, I don't like them. And it's not just because of Connor McDavid. It's just I don't like this team. Number 21, the Florida Panthers. We're getting to the point where these are teams that I don't really care about each e anyway. So I don't love the Panthers. I don't hate the Panthers. They're just kind of there. Same thing with the Dallas Stars. I don't care about them either way. Now, for me personally, I don't think that Dallas should have a team. Like, I think the NHL made a huge mistake with moving the Minnesota North Stars to Dallas. But at least Minnesota has a team again, so... Number 19, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, being an Ontario boy myself, having been born in Ontario, I mean, I don't hate the Leafs at all. By any stretch of the imagination, I don't hate the Leafs. It's just, don't really care about them. Number 18, the Nashville Predators. 
Again, these are teams that I don't care about either way. I don't really like them. I don't really dislike them. Columbus Blue Jackets, they have a fucking cannon in their arena. That's like the best thing I could think of about them. Again, Rick Nash, of course, I respect him. Uh, number 16, the Tampa Bay Lightning. They're okay to me. I like to me they're they're okay. I don't really care either way. Once we get into the top uh top 10, that that will be teams that I really like. Number 15, the San Jose Sharks. Um They're pretty cool. They're not too bad. I mean, I like their logo. I can't remember where I put the lo the San Jose Sharks logo uh last Friday's video. I believe last Friday's video was my top 31 logos. Don't remember I don't remember where I put this logo, but I like this logo. Number 14, the Phoenix Coyotes are officially named the Arizona Coyotes, but I refuse to call them the Arizona Coyotes because in my mind when I think of this team, I automatically think Phoenix Coyotes because that's what they were called when I started watching hockey. Number 13, the Anaheim Ducks. Now, this team for a while I didn't like them because of what they did to my favorite team in 2007 and if you know what I'm talking about then you know my favorite team so I'm gonna leave it at that for now number 12 the New Jersey Devils Marty Bordeaux really you know brings this team up the rankings for me the Buffalo Sabres at number 11 they're, they're pretty cool I mean they suck which I can relate to because of my favorite team but um yeah they're number 11 I love the commentator I can't remember his name but the league play-by-play -play commentator for the Buffalo Sabres, just the enthusiasm and the excitement he brings to Buffalo Sabres broadcasts is just amazing. Now we're into teams that I really like. Top 10 teams. Number 10, the Carolina Hurricanes. Number one, I love this logo. I'm really sad that the, 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 the Hurricanes white jersey just has canes written diagonally. But, um... You know, I like this team. Cam Ward was great for the Hurricanes. He's now playing for Chicago. Um, you know, Eric Stahl was the captain. Jeff Skinner was cool. Anyway, let's go to number nine, the New York Islanders. I like all three New York area teams. So, uh, New Jersey was 12, but, you know, I like them. And I like the, uh, the Islanders, too. Number eight, the St. Louis Blues. To me, the story of the Blues... Uh, last season kind of helped put them up the ranking into my top 10. Number 7, the Calgary Flames. This was actually my first quote-unquote favorite NHL team before I actually started watching hockey. So, like, when I was really young, I was like, oh, Calgary Flames are my favorite team. But that changed uh, when I actually started watching hockey. Number 6, the Vancouver Canucks. For the longest time, after 2011, for the longest time, I hated the Vancouver Canucks. Not necessarily because of the team themselves. It, was, it really wasn't about the team. It was about what the fans in Vancouver did Af excuse me, after they blew a 3 to nothing Stanley Cup Finals lead in 2011 against the Boston Bruins. And they lost in a reverse sweep in Game 7 in Vancouver. And the fans in Vancouver destroyed half their city. I think the cause, like... $40 million in damages, some ridiculously high number of damages, you know, uh, monetary damages they caused, which is just insane and it pissed me off for the longest time, but I'm cool with them now. Number five, the New York Rangers. I was in Madison Square Garden. I was at Madison Square Garden for a New York Rangers playoffs game. It was game two of the second round of the Eastern Conference uh, playoff, uh, second round in 2015 against the Washington Capitals. And every time Alex Ovechkin touched the puck, MSG just erupted into a chorus of boos, which was just amazing. And it was just a great experience um, being at MSG, watching a hockey game. So it was really cool. And also, you know, the connection between the New York Rangers and my hometown Kitchener Rangers, it helps too. Number four, the Detroit Red Wings, my favorite original six NHL team. The Detroit what, Red Wings. My dad uh, was a Detroit Red Wings fan, so that kind of helps. My favorite Red Wings player is Nick Cronwall. Just love his style of hockey. Number three, the Vegas Golden Knights. I know they're their new team. They've only been in the league for three years now. 
but they're cool. They're fun to watch. They're very physical, just the way I like it. Number two, the Winnipeg Jets. I was kind of a closet sort of fan of the Atlanta Thrashers when they were in the league. And then when they moved to Winnipeg, I started cheering for the Jets too. Which leads, number one, the Ottawa Senators. My favorite NHL team is the Ottawa Senators. When I was a kid, the first the first NHL game I ever watched, my I remember clearly, my dad recorded it on VHS. Like the old VHS tapes. And it was game five. I I always thought it was game seven uh, until I rewatched the game on YouTube uh, last year. And no, it's game five, the Eastern Conference Finals in 2007 between Ot- the Ottawa Senators and the Buffalo Sabres. And the one thing that I, I will always remember is in overtime, Daniel Alfredson has the puck. Just he's in the he just skates in, and then the top of the slot just fires like a nothing snapshot. Beats Ryan Miller. The Ottawa Senators go to the Stanley Cup Finals to face the Anaheim Ducks, which the Anaheim Ducks won four games to one. But yeah, that started that really started my love affair with hockey. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Peace and love.